this uh, shamanic culture in uh, our country it is uh, 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 there is a confusion that uh, what i said that shamanism was directly related with uh, shram and uh, brahmanism was related to the ruling class and uh, here uh, one may uh, say that uh, gautam buddha was uh, uh, came from a royal family and uh, his uh, uh, father was a king so how can you say that uh, they are uh, it is it was related to the uh, shram and uh, this thing so you know uh, here i just uh, uh, i just want to raise the point but i am not elaborating it is because this is another part of our discussion uh, so i am just indicating that without uh, much elaboration that is <coughs> at the time of 16 mahajana padas when the whole uh, the political center of aryans was shifted uh, to further east from hastinapur or uh, delhi Kur delhi kurukshetra from this side it was shifted to eastern side uh, magadha Mag magadha is uh, uh, currently in bihar so in this um, uh, whole aryavarta was centered th uh, through uh, centered uh, uh, by this uh, magadha and the, uh, the magadha was uh, uh, that time it was a monarchy there at that time 16 big lands great lands 16 great lands were formed like magadha kashi kosola sakka kolia etc so here uh, out of these 16 mahajana padas eight mahajana padas were republic and uh, eight mahajana padas were uh, monarchy so this uh, republics you know when where uh, gautama buddha was born that was a that was a sakka clan and it was a republic sakko was a republic and in this republic ramila kapar dealt this person very magnificently in his uh, in her book uh, indian history uh, this republic had a typical type of administration it was there was a parliamentary uh, parliamentary based uh, uh, parliamentary uh, administration there was a parliament and all the members of the parliament uh, were called rajas the, the raja in sakko clan is no way similar with the raja in monarch monarchy he was not a monarch he was a member of parliament at that time that is why we see there were many kings in sakko clan not only suddhodan suddhodan was the father of gautama buddha but suddhodan was not a single king of sakko there was bhadiyo uh, many kings were there actually these kings were the member of the parliament and uh, they uh, were engaged in agriculture in monarchy that was a brahmin khatriya khatriya brahmin uh, uh, domination especially brahmin domination and these uh, rulers they are not not engaged in uh, uh, productive work any kind of labor any kind of productive work brahmanism they the accumulation of wealth through plunder and war whereas in shamanism the accumulation of wealth was taking place gradually through economy economic activity productive productive activity agriculture trade etc so that was the main difference so uh, here we will see that at the time of 16 mahajana padas when at the time of gautama buddha <coughs> there was there were uh, the uh, struggle between the shamanism and brahmanism took a very sharp turn when the whole uh, aryavarta was gradually uh, became under strong influence of uh, buddhism after demisa buddha uh, within a very few years within a, uh, 150 years or so, or so the uh, mauryan empire was formed at the uh, 323 bc uh, Chandragupta Maurya, he established the Mauryan Empire. Chandragupta Maurya was a Jain, and uh, his uh, uh, grandson uh, Asaka, uh, he was converted in into uh, Buddhism after uh, Kalinga War. You know that this time, this Mauryan Empire was the heyday of Shamanism in uh, Aryavarta, at the, especially at the time of uh, Asaka the Great. At that time, the domination of Brahmins and uh, Kshatriyas and Brahmin domination, this was totally shattered, totally destroyed, totally destroyed. Although 
it was uh, the uh, uh, mauryan empire uh, based on the cotillion system cotillion system is a secular system comparatively and uh, there that is why mauryan system was a uh, uh, modern system uh, at that time it was a modern system that was a uh, some kind of secularism uh, also called the great he tried to maintain you know that the third uh, 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 buddha sangeeti that is the third plenum of uh, buddhist monks it was held at the time of uh, asoka and uh, uh, although asoka arranged everything uh, did everything but he uh, did not participate in plenum uh, personally because he said that i am a king of not only the buddhist i am a king of buddhist saiva uh, uh, brahmins uh, jaino everyone i am a king of my people so i cannot take direct part participate uh, in in the plenum so he was not uh, uh, present in the plenum so this kind of uh, balance he uh, tried to maintain so in this period in this mauryan period you know that is a in the uh, field of culture in the field of science in the field of trade in the field of in all the field in the public work uh, public system uh, service to the people uh, sharing the surplus among the people everything was uh, reached at the highest uh, peak reached at is its zenith you can say so this period was uh, at the time of asok and throughout this uh, mauryan empire we will see that india was at that time india uh, that uh, definitely at that time india was transformed into a modern uh, type of administration uh, based on international trade uh, uh, asoka sent religious delegation to many countries and behind this religious uh, delegation the traders uh, used to visit uh, and we uh, sometimes with the delegation the traders uh, uh, used to go and the trade relation uh, religious re relation cultural relation and trade relation with a large part of the uh, globe was established at that time so this was the uh, scenario uh, under the mauryan empire and the mauryan empire uh, uh, maurya family was a uh, came from a so called back, uh, backward family it was not uh, advanced so called advanced uh, uh, castes or uh, advanced varnas they were not brahmins or uh, khatriyas uh, you can say that sudra there is a debate whether they were sudra or vaishya uh but uh, ambedkar clearly said that they were sudras so that was the last sudra rule uh, uh, in that sense uh, ideologically gupta period is also from backward people guptas but ideologically guptas were a bit different uh, they were much uh, inclined to the brahmanistic philosophy we know so mauryan empire was the last sudra uh empire uh, were uh, the uh, samanic culture reached at its heyday in the year of 1800 uh, 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 183 bce 183 bce the last uh, mauryan king uh, uh, he was bhyadratha uh, uh, bhyadratha he was killed by his uh, commander in chief pushamitra sukla Biyadrata. Biyadrata was killed by his commander in chief Pushamitra Sunga, and this Pushamitra Sunga, Sunga was a Brahmin family. Pushamitra Sunga came from the Brahmins, and this Brahmins uh, start back uh, a massive coup d'état uh, was organized uh, by him, and Biyadrata was killed, and uh, Pushamitra Sunga took power, and the Sunga dynasty uh, started, and under this Sunga dynasty again the Brahmin Khatriya domination came back. so this is pushamitra sunga and when he came when he uh, reestablish or recapture magadha and uh, reestablish brahmanism over magadha then he definitely according to ambedkar ambedkar dealt this portion very uh, convincingly that uh, he felt that this brahmanistic rule uh, has has to uh, put on a firm uh, basis this basis cannot be provided by shrutis or vedas there must be some penal system must be some uh, law 
uh, our society must need some law system and this sriti books uh, started to appear and uh, at that time uh, manu sriti the sumati bhargava the close associate with pusamitra sungo uh, probably uh, yeah, there is a chance that he was directed to write or he wrote that is not a very uh, important point but at that time sumati bhargava he composed or wrote the manu sriti to give a permanency of brahmanistic uh, rule over magadha and uh, entire aryavarta so this is manusriti to uh, uh, ambedkar uh, call it a counter revolution ambedkar called buddhism uh, uh, emergence of buddhism uh, a revolution in uh, india so you know that ambedkar was a very fond of french revolution so he called the buddhist uh, movement uh, as a like french revolution in ancient india and uh, <clears throat> manu sri the emergence of manu coup d'etat of pushamitra sunga the whole thing is a counter revolution so manu sri the is the counter revolution in indian society so this is manu sri the and the relation between manu manu or sumati bhargava and pushamitra sunga uh 